Today we're going to be taking a look at how to create a cinema graph. If you don't know what that is, let me show you. Before getting started with a cinema graph, you want to make sure you have a tripod or a steady surface. You can use your phone or you can use your camera, whatever you have. But you just want to make sure you're not moving your camera around. It needs to be steady. Now, it makes it easier if there's a clear defining line between what's going to be still and what's going to be moving in the, in this frame. Now, I went with the basketball and it's and it's moving in, in top of my uh, finger. And as you can see there, there's a line there. Let me show you. There's a clear defining line between here and here. This, however, is not the easiest shot because it's really hard to keep my hand steady and keep it in the same place because I'm balancing and I'm moving around. As you can see there, it's it was really hard to keep my hand steady. So this took a lot of tries for me to just even get half a second of um, steady shot. So it's going to be a challenge to make this one, but I'll show you how I did it. Also, uh, I've seen that uh, people use running water a lot because water is uniform. It doesn't really change. Whereas other cinema graphs, uh, let's say you're doing the sky, it's, it's not as uniform as just running water. So if you look at cinema graph ideas, you'll see that either uh, people pouring something into a glass or something like that. It's very popular. Um, I just decided to go with this because I don't know. I like basketball. The first thing I want to do is I, I want to go through all my footage and I already marked the spots where I, I, I got kind of a, a steady shot where my hand wasn't moving so much. But let me zoom in here. Okay, so let me move forward in the frames. Somewhere around here, you see, you see there's even that slight movement makes it harder to um, define that line. So what we're going to do is we're going to be masking out um, or masking in the basketball. So this is going to be a um, still frame, but the only thing that's going to be coming through is the basketball moving. And we're going to have to loop this to make it happen. Let's see. So I'm going to bring it in right here. And you see my my hand is moving. It's not completely steady. Okay. I brought it in. I want there to be very minimal movement. Maybe that's not enough. I got to drag this out a little bit more. Let's see. There's slight movement there. How long is that? That's like, I don't know. That's not even half a second, but we're going to have to work with, with what we have. Okay. So there's our shot. It's not much movement, but that's as much as I can hold it steady. It's less than half a second, but all right. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this video clip. And I do that by holding down the option, dragging it over. And now I can take a still, uh, make this a freeze frame on this clip by going to edit at freeze frame. And what I can do is this is a freeze frame right here. I can drag it to the top because it's good. That's going to be our still frame. And I can drag it on top of the, this duplicate uh, video clip. Let me get rid of the first part. First of all, let, let's start out by making um, duplicates of all, all of, the, of, of this clip where the ball is moving. So you can do option, drag it over, copy these, command C, drag over the playhead, command V. And I'm just going to be making duplicates of these uh, video clips. Let's see. Command V, Command V. Let's make this about seven seconds long. There we go. Now I can drag the still frame all the way over to the right. Okay, the next thing we want to do is make 
a mask or make create a mask around the ball. So let's go over to our effects and here we have, have the draw mask. Let's drag it over to the still frame. Okay, now let's draw the mask. I want this to be a little bit further back. Okay. And just click around the ball. Okay, here's where we want to zoom in. And we just want to make that line very clear. Okay, let's let's zoom out. Zoom back in. All right, let me play this from the beginning. See what we have. Oh, I forgot to invert this mask. Invert mask. Okay, let's play it from the beginning. And I don't know if you can see it, but my finger's coming through, and that's because it's not um, quite perfect. You see, my finger's coming through. I don't like that. What we can do is um, bring down the feathering. Do a negative, maybe 16. Let's, let's see how that looks. And you can see now the finger's not coming through the the mask up top because everything right here is still and everything within this mask is coming through which we just want the ball to come through but since my finger is not always steady or in the same uh, spot it tends to come up a little bit uh, within the, the uh, within the mask so we don't want that so we're gonna do the uh, do a negative feathering so um, Hopefully the finger won't come through and we'll just try to get as uh yeah, I think that looks pretty good right there. Um, again, you can spend more time trying to get this perfect, but I think for what we're doing right now, uh, you get, you get, you get the point. All right. Uh, what I can do is select all of these and make it into a compound clip. I'm not making this into a, a GIF. It's just going to be a small movie file. And I'm okay with that because, um, well, I don't think Final Cut Pro can, can export in GIF. And I have a program that can do that, but it just reduces the quality so much that it's not worth it for me. Uh, the last thing you can do, well, not the last thing. There's so many things you can do, but you can add sound effects. Now, th this already has some of it. Let me turn up the volume and see if you can hear it. Or you can turn it off. That's up to you. But from here, just export it and you can share it and you're ready to go. I wanted to show you something uh, simpler. Um, this is another one I did. In this one, there's a clear defining line. As you can see, I made a mask from here to here, just a line, and everything from here to here is moving. The chicken are moving. I'm perfectly still. So this was way easier to make um, than than the, than the one with the basketball because I needed to be more accurate with my masking. But try to keep this in mind. If there's clear defining lines, it makes it easier for you to mask mask it. And also what I did, I added uh, the these uh, ambient sound of the birds, or I mean the chicken. Now I had already colored, graded, color corrected all this footage and I didn't go over what I did on this video. I have other tutorials on that. I now link to those videos in the description below if you want to know how to color grade, color correct these uh, images. This is how I create cinema graphs. I'm pretty sure there's other ways of making them using other programs. But this is what I have and what I use and I already know Final Cut Pro, so it makes it very simple for me. Um, if you know of any tips or tricks or ways of making it simpler, 
go ahead and share below. Also, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask in the comment section. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so. I am putting out videos like this every week and you don't wanna miss them. All right, I'll see you on the next one.